I have some kind of strange issue with some Microsoft installers. With this, with this layout specifically. So there should be some text in here, but there's none. Well, with the exception of a few underscores and stuff, you basically cannot even read it. So whatever you can do, well, you can kind of guess what the hell I'm doing. So what, what could be the problem? I didn't install the source pack 3 for Windows 98. Well, it's the unofficial one, but we can try that. Most likely it won't break the system. Okay, so we'll just install the main updates. Nothing else, just that. We only have to wait for a bit to install off of that. It should be done soon. Okay, it's done. Restart. And hope for the best. Okay, that's not a good thing. That's not good e either. Oh man. Okay, so we have one more error. So it cannot... So this is something kind of unexpected. So we'll just keep going. Okay, one more. Yeah, I shouldn't count these errors though. Okay. So even this play is kind of broken, so I'll just use the most safe uh, resolution. So this should require another restart. Okay, back to this. Okay, again, it's kind of broken. Okay, one more. Okay, a few more. Many things are kind of broken now. And a uh, blue screen of that. So, where are we already? Oof. Uh, okay, so the Windows configuration is invalid. So, this uh, caused quite a huge mess. So, let's just keep going. Okay, that's the second blue screen. This is the third sc blue screen. Okay, we are back. Let's just maybe continue this. Actually, no. Okay, so I guess that that, that I'm kind of stuck. Okay, let's just restart it. Wait. Nope, I'm stuck. Let's restart again. Okay, so now we have, well, another one. Well, it's not an actual error, it's a message. So we just found an error in the system files and we started a, a recent backup of the files to fix the problem. So I'm get, kind of guessing it's like it's uh, restoring a good config configuration from the last time. Okay, so we're restarting again. So this is like three or four restarts already. Okay, so everything should be okay by now. Let's see if, if this worked. Nope. No change at all. Okay, so what could be the problem then? The it might be the fonts. So let's check the fonts and try to figure, figure out what's the problem. So I have a few fonts in here. Here. And... Okay, so some of them should be well, the problem. But in this case, I can already can, can figure out what might what it might be. It's uh, this freak and nine symbols. So it seems to be that this is uh, the font that's being displayed for some reason. Even though the installer is kind of should display MS uh, MS Sans uh, serif, it doesn't doesn't for some reason. 
So let's try deleting this. And there we go. So for, so for some reason, now it works. Well, in some way. So if we try to show this, you can see that it doesn't display a new line. It's kind of stuck in here. So what's this one then? Well, that's uh, news got it news got it empty. So let's try to delete that one. And now we get this. Now we have a new line. But this is this is not the font that we would actually like to use, right? Okay, so this is uh, Lucida uh, oh, handwriting. So let's delete this one. And then we get this. I have no clue which one, which is which is this font at all. At all. I didn't kind of bother to look up, look up after checking two more fonts. But in this case, it seems to be looking quite good enough. Okay, so what else to, to do? Well, I can't figure out why the hell it's not using the actual MS Sans serif. Well, this font at least, but it's using some other kind of font for no reason at all. So, well, I might as well actually delete most of the fonts in here. So we'll go with first row, no change, second row, no change, okay, number three, well there is some change, well, I can't figure out which one, which is the font still. Okay, let's keep deleting one by one. Uh, this might be the chart man. Actually, I have no idea. Is it this? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Well, let's keep dele deleting. Wait, let's close this. Okay, we're back to this. So. It's kind of strange that even if we deleted a few fonts, it managed to go back to this font. And I have no idea what's the font. So what's the actual logic where Windows actually picks the, the appropriate font for this? I have no idea. I even tried like using sub substitutes and whatever else, but it seems that it doesn't work at all. Okay, we are still stuck at this font. Oh. Now we have another font there in here. Mm, can figure out what which one is it. Okay, we'll keep deleting more. Let's see, it's pretty much the system font for the actual system buttons and stuff, so I cannot even delete it. So we'll keep going with a few more fonts until we delete pretty much everything. Okay, we're pretty much close. We are, all already, uh, we are already breaking everything else. This one is quite large for some reason. Oh, wait. Okay, so we kind of broke most of the well, system fonts that are being used. So we'll keep going. This one still looks okay. Well, that little one looks actually quite appropriate. Okay, so we have a few more fonts left. So we'll just delete those. And we are pretty much left with Windings and Times New Roman. As I hate, hate that that font, I'll just delete that immediately. And finally, we have Marlet in the title and Wingdings in actual text. And no idea for this. I think that's the system font font that I cannot actually even see in here. Okay, we'll delete it one by one. And this is Wingdings two. And finally, 
winding the tree. Then if I delete this, then it will just use some system font. Okay, so we are pretty much done with, with this. I've delete, deleted most of the fonts. And yeah, that's it. Bye.